Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This week, it's time for another Three Minute Thursday. We're gonna be reviewing the Yellow Scope Beakers and Bubbles Chemistry Set. This is a unique science kit because it's tailored just for girls. And that's important to me because I have one. If you are watching closely to our How to Make Colossal Bubbles video. And if you have it, you should watch it because it's amazing. You may have noticed that our house was for sale. Well, good news, we sold our house. Bad news is, we have no place to stay for two weeks. But the beauty about homeschooling is you can do it anywhere. We're in an Airbnb for two weeks and we're currently in somebody else's kitchen. So we better not make a mess with this chemistry set, because chemistry can get a little messy. That would be bad. So sit back, watch the review, and find out if this product is going to be good for your family, and especially your girls. Three minutes, let's start the clock. Today we're going to be reviewing the Yellow Scope Beakers and Bubbles Foundation Chemistry Kit. If you're not familiar with the company Yellow Scope, they are a company that develops science kits with a focus on developing scientific interest in young girls. The chemistry set today focuses on three main chemistry topics, molecular motion, chemical reactions, and temperature in chemistry. All right, let's get into this kit. The first thing you'll notice is the quality of the products they provide. You get three good beakers, a thermometer, a stopwatch, some safety goggles of course. A nice chemistry button is an additional touch along with some colored pencils whose top also dubs as a pencil sharpener. Nice touch. First off, there is a lot to like about this chemistry set and it starts with a handout that comes with it. It's very engaging. In fact, it's the most engaging handout of any science project we've reviewed. As you open it up, your kids get a copy of the periodic table along with a letter addressed specifically to them, encouraging them to be curious and be creative. Then you have a letter addressed specifically to the parents. It encourages continued science education in our daughter's lives. They have this interesting graph where they plot interest in science over time and it shows how a girl's interest rapidly decreases as they progress through grade school. Now they don't cite their source, but as a former science teacher, I am aware of research that shows that girls through a variety of societal factors do have a decreased interest in STEM subjects as they get older. And it's up to us to change that. And the best part about the handout is not just the instructions on the experiment, is with each experiment they have information on the science topics behind it, and there are also places where you can draw and chart your results for each experiment. The experiment we chose to do involved chemical reactions. Basically, we were going to mix a few compounds together and make carbon dioxide. With that carbon dioxide gas, we would then use it to extinguish a flame. And of course, no experiment is complete without little brother getting involved. And just like food, everything is better in chemistry with a little bit of food coloring. Spoiler alert, we did not burn down our rental house. Now it was time to make our carbon dioxide gas and extinguish the flame. Now with the good comes the bad. It is a bit pricey. At $44, it's up there. Now the box does say there are enough materials in here for dozens of experiments. So if you've got multiple daughters or multiple family members, they'll all have the opportunity to do this. And there's three different labs and each lab has about five different experiments. The problem is each experiment you can get through pretty quickly. And if you wanted to, you could do them all in a day. So $44 for one day's worth of experiments, it's pricey. So in the end, it's a very high quality kit. A lot of different chemistry stuff that you can learn, that your daughters can learn. Keep in mind, it's designed for them, but 
any kid can do it. Her brother had just as much fun doing it as she did. That's it for this week. Next week, we're doing our very first field trip. So come with us, because we're going to the zoo. <laughs> we'll see you next week.